Hi, I'm Tom from Heroic Labs, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a Nakama server project using TypeScript. Before we begin, let's run through the steps we're going to take to set up our Nakama project. First, we'll download and install Node to allow us to run npm and TypeScript commands from the terminal. Second, we'll initialize our project using npm init and set up our dependencies using npm install. Next, we'll create a tsconfig.json file to configure our TypeScript build. Then, we'll write a bootstrapper file, which will be our Nakama server's entry point. Then we'll implement a simple health check RPC so that we can validate our servers running correctly. After that, we'll write a docker file and docker-compose.yaml file that will let us spin up and tear down our server with ease. And finally, we'll run our server using docker and verify it's all working using the Nakama console. Okay, to start, let's open up a browser and head over to nodejs.org slash en slash download. Once there, download the installer for your platform of choice. In this case, I'll choose Windows. Once downloaded, follow the installation instructions to install Node. With Node installed, we can now create our project. Let's open up a terminal and create a new folder. Let's navigate to our new directory and initialize our project by running npm init-y. There's a couple of dependencies we'll need to install. First, let's install the TypeScript package as a dev dependency. This will allow us to run the TypeScript compiler locally that will turn our TypeScript into JavaScript. Second, we'll install the Nakama runtime package directly from GitHub. With those two packages installed, it's time to begin writing our server runtime code. The first thing we need to do is write a configuration file that will tell the TypeScript compiler how to build our code into plain old JavaScript. To do this, let's create a new file called tsconfig.json. This file can be a little confusing, so let's paste in the contents and I'll walk you through the bits that are important. Starting at the top, you'll see we define an array of files that the TypeScript compiler should include when building our code. Every new TypeScript file you write will need to be added here manually in order to be included in the build. Next, we define some of the compiler options. Here we specify what version of JavaScript we want to target. In this case, it's ES5. The only other option that we need to be concerned with here is the out file property. This defines where our compiled JavaScript output file will be placed. Now that we have our TypeScript configuration file in place, we can start implementing our server runtime code bootstrapper. Let's start by creating a new file called main.ts. This file will serve as the main entry point for our server runtime code. And as such, we'll need to implement the init module function that Nakama expects to call. The init module function takes several arguments, these being a context which contains server information such as runtime environment variables and other info, a logger, which we can use to add various entries into the server logs, such as debug, warning, and errors. The Nakama server framework interface, used to call various Nakama-related functions, such as creating matches, adding leaderboard entries, etc. And finally, an initializer, which allows us to register RPCs, hooks, and callback functions. To begin, we're simply going to use the logger to write out a message to the server console, indicating this module was loaded. Now that we have our bootstrapper in place, let's implement a health check RPC that simply returns a success payload back to the user. This will show you how to register RPCs or remote procedure calls that can be called by the client that can execute and then pass back a payload to the user. Let's create a new file called healthcheck.ts. Inside this file, we'll write a function called RPC health check. It'll also take several arguments similar to the init module function. This function takes a context, a logger, the Nakama server framework interface, and finally, a string payload. It will also return a string payload that the client will receive after calling this RPC. First, let's log out to the server console that this RPC has been called. And then, let's simply return a JSON stringified object that has a success property with a value of true. Okay, with our RPC function done, let's head back to the main.ts file and register the RPC with the initializer. We'll give it a unique string identifier and pass in our RPC health check function as the second argument. With our bootstrapper and health check RPC implemented, we can now create our Docker file, docker compose.yaml file, and local.yaml file, so that we can spin up our Nakama server easily and test that it's all working. Let's create a new file called local.yaml. 
This file provides various configuration parameters to the Nakama server. There are a whole host of different parameters you can configure in this file, but for now, let's keep it simple and just configure the logger level to be debug. We'll also specify the runtime JavaScript entry point. If you want to learn more about what parameters can be configured, I'll leave a link to the server configuration documentation in the description. Next, let's create our Docker file. This is the file that Docker will use to build our Nakama image. But before we do that, I wanted to briefly touch upon why we're using Docker to spin up our Nakama server instead of downloading the Nakama binaries and running it locally that way, which is also an option. Simply put, there are two big advantages to running our Nakama server with Docker. First, we avoid any platform-specific configuration or issues that may come with running Nakama and Postgres database binaries. And second, it gives us an extremely quick and simple way to rebuild our entire module and launch our Nakama server at any time with one simple command. If you're unfamiliar with Docker, I highly recommend you check out the official Docker documentation and have a read up on what it is and how it works. It's a rather large topic, but it makes spinning up a Nakama server a breeze. The first thing we'll do in the Docker file is create an intermediary image to compile our TypeScript code into plain old JavaScript. We'll start by copying over our package.json files and running npm install, and then copying over our tsconfig.json and TypeScript files and running the TypeScript compile command. After that, we'll create a new image using the Heroic Labs Nakama image as a base and copy across our compiled JavaScript and configuration file. With our Docker file ready, it's time to add our docker compose.yaml file. This file serves as a configuration file for the docker compose command, which will allow us to spin up an instance of the Nakama server as well as a Postgres database in a single command. The docker compose.yaml file is quite involved, and for the purposes of this video, we'll copy a pre made one from an existing repo. I'll leave a link in the description to the Nakama project template repository where you can find the ready-made docker-compose.yaml file. Now that we have our docker configuration files added, we're ready to spin up the server. Over in the terminal, let's type docker-compose-up. This will begin downloading and building our docker images before spinning up our Nakama and Postgres containers. You can see that our Nakama server has started successfully. To test that it's all working as expected, open a browser and head on over to 127.0.0.1 colon 7351. This will open the Nakama console. We can log in with the default credentials, which are admin and password. Once we're here, let's first open the account section and select the default user. We'll copy the user ID and then head over to the API Explorer section. Here, we'll select our HealthCheck RPC from the drop down, paste in the default user's ID, and click Send Request. You can see that our HealthCheck RPC is working correctly and has returned a success true JSON object. Perfect. Let's wrap up by running through what we did. We downloaded and installed Node to give us access to the npm command line tool. Next, we initialized our TypeScript project and installed the relevant dependencies using npm init and npm install. Next, we wrote the tsconfig.json file to configure our TypeScript compilation options. Then, we wrote our modules bootstrapper, which serves as the entry point for our custom server runtime code. Next, we wrote our HealthCheck RPC and registered it in the bootstrapper. After that, we added our local.yaml, dockerfile, and docker-compose.yaml configuration files. Once our configuration files were in place, we ran the server using docker-compose-up. And finally, we verified that the server and RPC were working using the Nakama console. That's it for this video. You can find all the links to the appropriate documentation and further reading in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.